Hello everyone, this is Evan Abrams, and I've gotten a lot of requests recently about doing some tutorials about how I did the motion typography for Drama B's Lady in My Life, and I thought I would go through one of the techniques someone has asked me about. It is the part in which some text comes on, which then become doors or windows, and then we pass through those doors or windows. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you've missed out on a great video to watch. Let's just watch the part I talked about, and I can link you to the rest of it later. For now, let's just let's just watch that important part and try to get on with our lives. Yours both minds intertwine, you dig? Yeah, and baby girl, show ya. Dose some morphine, shorty got Okay, yeah. that was pretty good. So what we'll be doing is creating text that comes on one word at a time, and kind of fast and uh, I guess the grow, growing hearts in there we can do that and then we just kind of push through the uh, push through the door here whoosh and you know from that point on the that part of the animation is over so let's get into it let's break down what we're looking at first this is actually kind of complicated if I recall there's a camera there's some pre-compositions there is See, here's the actual thing of it. The text comes on. That's about all we do in this comp, but you know, then there's more that happens. So let's uh, let's do one. Let's uh, make a new project. Let's not save what we just did. And what you'll do is you'll make a new composition. Let's use the 72025 preset. Um, I use this in tutorials just because it saves me on RAM previews and stuff like that. But I mean, if you want to work in 1080p, you know, be my guest. Just really impress your friends with how many P's you have. You know, I was impressed. So uh, you want to make a new solid. We can make this really whatever color we'd like. Uh, it's just going to be used as a background. So we call this background. We're going to make a new text layer. And what should this text say? What does it really say about me? Uh, I'm going to use a nice chunky font. I'm going to use Arial Black Regular. So we are going to talk about the free. I'm just going to duplicate that. Tacos. Duplicate that. Tonight. That's one night. Two night. Free tacos tonight. Sounds all right. Um, anybody's listening? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some free tacos. So uh, next thing to do, I'm going to pull up my title and action safe. I'm going to try to fit everything inside this innermost box. The title and action safe provide you a pretty good guideline for lining up your work. You should make use of all of the cheats you have at your disposal. Uh, like locking down the background before you try to select and move things. And then you'll look a total doofus on your own tutorial. You know, it happens. It just happened to me. I don't know how I feel about that. Negatively, I guess. So, we got two night. Let's get some tacos or taquitos or other permutations of Mexican food. I live in Canada. We don't have good Mexican food here. Basically what you want to do is line up the alignment that you want to get out of your text beforehand. Oh bam, it's gonna fit pretty well. Yep, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. So when it comes to designing panels like this, you want to start at the end pretty much. So take all your layers, hit P, and keep put a keyframe for all their position. And this is going to be our end state that we want to achieve. All right, so stick with me on this. I know it gets a little bit weird. And now bump that ahead, something like one, two, three, four, five frames. That should be about enough to get them on. And then move those keyframes you made ahead and go back to the beginning and think about where you want these things to start. Let's have them start just out of frame so that they have to come in. Now, if you want them to move at the same speed, you can move both free and tacos up out of frame. So they come in about that speed. And let's bring in, 
make sure that the two starts out here away from the frame and night starts out here. We also want to have motion blur on for all of these guys and make sure it's on for your comp and that's how they come together. Now you want them to come in one at a time. So you want free to start, followed by tacos, followed by the number two, followed by night. So it's free tacos to night. Free tacos to night. So that's pretty good. Maybe you want the tacos to come on from the side. Uh, actually, I feel like I want them to come on from the bottom. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. So go back to where they start at, bring them on from the bottom. So free tacos to night. That's pretty good. This could actually be used for some kind of tacos promo. Now that I think about it, I'm going to definitely change these colors to be more taco oriented. Yellow, good. And da -da -da, ba -ba 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 -da. and maybe like a green, a like taco green. And I don't really want to stroke on any of these. I don't find that's being very productive for us. So there we go. Free tacos tonight. I think we all know what we're getting here. Um, it's been scientifically proven the colors red, yellow, and green cause hunger. So when we're done here, let's all get some nachos or something. So take these that you've created and we're going to go layer, pre-compose them, and let's call this the text wall or something. Something stupid like that. Doop, 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 doop. Okay, so they're all on. We're going to need a new camera. That camera should be whatever preset makes you happy. Um, and take this thing here. We're going to get fancy here. When we take this, hold down Control Shift D, and that's going to split the layer. So now you've made a split. This layer is now different than this layer. Make the layer you just split a 3D layer. Okay, you following me so far? Hit Y, or click up here and use the Pan Behind tool. And you're going to move its anchor point over to the side, over here. I'm going to line it up with the edge, right here. See, we have these fancy guides that we talked about before. See how they're coming back to help us out? That's pretty good of them, I should think. And now the next thing to do is apply a mask. So double click on this rectangle and you get a mask, or you can go layer, mask, new mask. And what you'll do is you will move this down to cut off about half. And you want, you want to be as close to half as possible. And look, it's one of those guides coming in to help us out again. They want to be our friend. So we've got that. Let's duplicate it. So now we have two copies of it. Only one copy we would like to invert that. And you'll notice that it gives us this seam down the middle. Don't worry about that for now, because before it had no seam, and the point at which it does have a seam, we're going to start moving it. So we're not really going to notice. Hit Y, select that newest layer, and move its anchor point all the way to the other side. Try to get that as lined up as possible. I'm not usually such a uh, such a neat freak for my uh, positioning, but when you want symmetrical motion, it's really important that you achieve it. Select these two hombres who are going to get us our free taco night. And the thing that you want to use is their uh, Y rotation. So set a keyframe, this is their beginning. And now we're going to go ahead one, two, three, or maybe just two frames ahead. Set the top one to be negative five, which will, as you can see, open it a little bit towards the camera. And same with the other one, we want to move this one positive five, which is also going to move it towards the camera. So they're kind of opening this way. And then let's complete it. I take this out to 90, which is all the way open, and take this one out to negative 90. So what's the motion? The motion is towards and away. In fact, we could probably bump this up to uh, negative 10 and positive 10 even to get a bit more of a pronounced whoosh. And maybe even bump these ahead one more frame. Okay. So you've got that happening. And at the same time, we have a camera that we want to push ahead. So call up its position. And you call it position by hitting P when you select a layer. 
keyframe the position to start here and now we're going to move ahead as the door is open and you can hit C to cycle through your camera commands and then when you reach this one that has like a circle with an arrow on the top and the bottom this is our uh, dollying so we're going to dolly through the door and we're clear so that's it tacos now you can even just wait a little bit and uh, we're don't start moving until the doors are open and you would probably also want to easy ease this first one more like that now another thing to do is you'll want to turn on the motion blur for these which could be fun you know more as long as it doesn't cause any strange problems you know you should be good so let's look at that again free tacos tonight let's go get some you know free tacos tonight in we go I think that should always be your response when someone offers you uh, free questionable meat products is to say let's go in for those um, and that's about it so you can use this a lot of ways uh, this is a great start to a uh, promotion for like a commercial as we've noticed but I mean it doesn't have to be tacos it could be free pizza tonight or you know great movies on demand I don't really know but you know it can be anything you can bring this is just a way to bring text on in one way and then transition on to something else in motion typography a lot of times you're really just transitioning text on and off the screen and a lot of the times people use the the old adage that you should take things out the way you bring them in and that may be true in some cases but when you're going through many 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 lines of text then you want to add in some variety and keep things moving and this causes a good dynamic move when you're taking something from 2d space into 3d space anyway I hope this is a helpful thing uh, for such a small technique I know it took a while to explain but my name's Evan Abrams uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more fun things uh, follow me on Twitter I try to answer anybody who tweets me a question or who asks a question in the comments so uh, if you have questions respond down there and I'll, I'll get to you and if you make something using this it's, you know send me a response I love to see people's work and I hope that you have as much fun making motion graphics as I do talking at you about them again I'm Evan Abrams and thanks for watching